Today's workout, we have a ladder going down from 600 all the way down to 150. I hope to keep everything at my 800 pace, so approximately 140, 145 from the first rep and cut it down from there at the same pace. For all the new freshmen coming into Concordia, the best advice I can give as a person that ran three years here and graduated, I would say just listen to your coaches. They know what they're talking about. A lot of times we come in with the egos of, you know, in high school we did this, in high school we did that, my old coaches. Just listen to your coaches. They know what they're doing. They have your best interests for you. And just come with the mindset to get better every day. My goals now that I graduated is just to come back to the track and just come back and enjoy it. I feel like a lot of times throughout the years I've been so competitive and trying to win a championship and conference it became more of a stress than a, than a fun thing to do. So now I want to kind of just come back and just try it all again but just on my own terms, have a, enjoy it this time. Uh, last year, I mean, I ended my season great with a record breaking 400 meter run but um, I've only run at 49 once and I think I could do it again. So. I figured now that I have time, I'm not taking you know, 19 hours of classes and end up being places and classes. It's just now I can just focus on running. For those who don't know Coach Adako, I would first say that he's a great coach. He knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's doing. He's, he may seem like he's only a distance coach or a country coach, but trust me, he knows all. He knows track and field from high school level all the way to college. He knows the elites. He knows the workouts. He has your best interests. If you come with it, with the mindset to work hard, he will get you where you want to get to. I mean, he'll meet my goals in the 400 and cross country and other people too. I mean, he has a record of helping those who came was average and made him great. We're just looking at Megan Wagonar, you know, Chris, Chris Randall. The reason we do sports is not, it's not a job. It's something fun. We should enjoy doing it. So even though if you're not on a team anymore, you should still, you know, have fun with it, you know, continue to do it, whether it's just recreational, maybe it's coaching, just be a part of what you love to do. And that's just, that's the main thing. That's anything in life, really.